Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here. Please hit that subscribe button and get that bell notification on too so you don't miss out on the next episode of Fort Prairie and Alberta Theme City. Welcome back to the channel. Last week we were back in Brockton County doing a bunch of railway stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, in this week's series we're going to be focusing on some farming. Uh, farming is something that is very prominent in Alberta and is also a key part of this map. So the map we're playing on is Biomes Valley, which is from the new map pack that came out about a, two months ago, I guess, a month and a half ago. Um, and yeah, like this town that we built, Fort Prairie, uh, well, sorry, we're building Prairie Station right now, which is going to be a small town outside of the main town of Fort Prairie, which we haven't built yet. Uh, there is a massive amount of farming potential. So it, in today's episode, we're going to start to realize that potential in the city and also start planning uh, for some other development out on the other side of the highway than what we've currently developed. Now, before we begin though, there has been a couple suggestions from last time we were in Fort Prairie that I want to touch on quickly before we dive into some builds. So here we are out over here. And first thing I notice when I look at this new map is water treatment plant. Yeah, this is a marker for me. Uh, I am trying to find a, a good spot for the water treatment plant and for the landfill. So we're going to put the water treatment plant out over here and then we're going to put the landfill out over here, which, you know, it's going to be beneficial for when we get uh, new interchanges in, but we're not going to do that at the moment. Uh, and then we named the interchange, the crazy funky interchange, and there were some fantastic name suggestions and it was hard to decide on one, but I went with the bull snake interchange, which wasn't actually a suggestion, but it was a playoff of a suggestion. Uh, the suggestion was to name it uh, a different type of snake, name it after a different type of snake. But uh, I checked that snake doesn't reside in Alberta, at least from what I was looking at. So uh, I went with the bull snake interchange because that is apparently a snake that lives in Alberta. So thank you, Joy from Joy Build Cities for that suggestion. Go check out their channel. Fantastic. They're doing an amazing series right now. Uh, 15 minute cities check it out it's awesome uh, so that's the first thing we did the second thing I did was right over here by this tunnel uh, the uh, suggestion was to, to just extend out the, the land a little bit from the tunnel it looked a little strange having the rail just start right at the tunnel so I did that and we're going to move on to the next suggestion which is over here in green couple dome trails and that was to connect both sides of this with a bridge and I haven't done that because I think that'd be a really fun way to start up today's build before we get into some farming so let's go into our tools here and there's a couple options that I was thinking of uh, the nature reserve path bridge is pretty neat let's come on let's let's get up there we go no nope. there we go it's, uh, it's pretty neat, but I find that with this one, there's a huge gap between nodes and it's a bit unrealistic. So I really like that one. I think the dirt path elevated bridge is pretty cool too. Uh, and then we have the other content creator packs, the European pedestrian bridge. This one could be really nice because it's got some iron trusts underneath it. And this one is also gets a bit too long. So I think we're going to try doing this one because it has some nice like, supports. And uh, let's find a nice spot to place it off of. So let's see. So we have, that's like the, the summit. So I say we go right from here. Let's click home. Right from this point right here. We're going to go across. Try and keep it straight as best we can. And then if we click, oh, no. Building bridges is sometimes strange. Okay, so that's 13 meters height. <laughs> a bit funny. Uh, so there's just the suggestion was to build a bridge across here, but I'm thinking actually it might be beneficial to bring it all the way out from this point. Probably not that the tippy top, but we'll go right from here. I'll drag it over, and <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I think right about to here, and then we'll readjust everything because uh, yeah, it never really works out the way you do, the way you want it to, does it? All right, so we'll grab that and we'll say, let's all get to that height. 
All right. <laughs> Interesting beginning of the episode here. And then let's upgrade. Let's actually just delete this path. We'll go back to here. Make that easier to do. Click home. We're in bridge mode. Yeah, we need to do some some change some changes still. So we'll go back to move it here, grab this last node, and set it to the same height. There we go. Wait, is there no railing? There is railing, okay. Whew. Uh, we definitely need to move this tree though. So we'll move this tree over here. And now we need to connect up the paths. So we'll just do something quick like that. And then we'll do something quick like that. Yeah, very nice. Glad that there actually is railings on there. I got a little bit worried. But this does look rather nice, doesn't it? It fits the landscape a bit more, I, I feel, than having uh, some of the other ones. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Alright, I'm going to stop admiring this. That was a great suggestion. It links things up. And when we level up the park, which right now we're at level 2, so when we get up to level uh, 3 and stuff, um, we'll be able to get some of these lookout towers, and I think some of these lookout towers will be well placed over there. So we have just a few more visitors to go, actually, so maybe we'll get to that today. Um, all right, so the next thing we're going to do is actually look at building up the road network over here. So we've kind of started doing this, and the map's already well placed with um, uh, these trees to kind of mark off the properties, or like the lots I guess so we're gonna do a couple things to uh, you know to help that and we're going to get road networks pretty much all the way across what is kind of already occurring so we're gonna grab this road that we're using which is from a uh, content creator pack the two-lane country road and we are going to try to draw a straight road off of what, what this one is which is a Cinnaboyne Boulevard I think or drive so let's do that we'll try to keep a good good angle here so it looks like the trees are slightly off that works with me we'll take this road which actually connects right up into this junction right here right by the church grounds um, and then we're gonna continue this one along because this one's gonna split up that larger area oh apparently we had collision off no we didn't strange Okay, let's just uh, do this, click trees, grab all these trees, and we're just going to scooch them over. Fantastic. Okay, so we'll continue this one across as well. So we've kind of created a bit of a, a cross section of this area here. So we split up that major lot into a couple. And I think we're going to get this one to just dead end right here. Oh, I guess this road doesn't like these new trees. Interesting. Okay. So I think this one's going to turn into an interchange of some sort or a bridge or something, but I don't really want to deal with that at the moment. I think we'll wait to see how we connect things up with what's going to happen over here, which is a long ways away. I don't have any really, I don't really have any plans for this. I think over here, the only plans we have is to build an interchange right here, which is going to be a major interchange going into the downtown core of the city, which is going to be built up over here. And then I think we're going to, we said we're going to reforest this area and do forestry out over here. So this is kind of a bit of a, hey, look at that, fantastic. This is kind of a bit of a no man's land at the moment. So maybe we'll build like a small farming town out this way or something. We'll figure it out. Um, all right, so let's continue building the road network because uh, we need to get all the way out over to here for our landfill. So let's run a road on this side of the trees. Let's actually go a bit farther along. And we'll bring this one right to there. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to come back and fix some of these trees here, aren't I? And I think we'll run the road down this side. Okay, let's make sure that we're actually at a good angle here. Straight. Yep. And who knows, maybe this will turn into the interchange as well. Alrighty, and we'll need to definitely come back and clean this up, I think. Okay, so I think we're going to run off of this corner here. I think sometimes you see like sidestepped interchanges 
on roads like this, where like the road would be built up like that. But I think we'll run with um, with this kind of theme. Alrighty, so over here we're gonna get this road to line up pretty much with this. Let's turn bending off. So this one's gonna be a bit different. We're creating a few smaller lots, it looks like. And then over here, hmm, I think we should get it on this side, the trees. So we'll just do this, bring that right through. And yes, yeah, so this one maybe we could sidestep, kind of keep like a bit of a theme. Or maybe this one can end and we'll have this one over here. What do we think? I think we'll have to get it on this side. Yeah, let's just build right through it. Keep it simple. Okay. And I think we'll get this one to connect up right here. It's 90 degrees. Fantastic. Yeah, it's strange how the what's happening with the trees here, isn't it? Okay, and then this one's going to continue on. Connect up. Alrighty. And then I'm just going to take the forest brush tool. I'm going to make it pretty small. We're just going to run this down the roads because, yeah, it's very strange. I guess the new trees don't like uh, roads that I got from the workshop. Alright, we'll run it down here as well. Yeah, so the name of today's episode is pretty much to. The name of the game of today's episode is to pretty much, you know, do some infrastructure planning, get the farming going, and then hopefully we'll have time to uh, get some of the, the farming going properly today. I don't think we'll be able to see it level up, unfortunately, that much today, but we will tomorrow. So this whole week we'll be focusing on the side of the tracks. Uh, we'll just clear up this intersection a little bit, and let's actually make this a bit straighter. So we'll go back to nodes here find here and we're just going to straighten this part out and then we'll just readjust this road to be a bit more forgiving I think the nodes right here all right we need to clear these trees and back to move it and we'll just Clear things up a little bit more. Let's grab segments here. I think it's the segment that's kind of messing with me. It is the segment that's messing with me. There we go. Much better. So this gives us opportunities to make roundabouts in the future. Gives us the opportunities to. Oh, missed one. Uh, gives us opportunities to, you know, uh, increase the uh, the lanes over here. And then what we'll do is we'll just make this one go right up in here. So maybe what happened with this instance is the city bought up this land. They cut off this road. This road used to go right in into Prairie Station, but it doesn't anymore. Uh, you often see that. Alrighty, so I feel like there's a lot of, uh, you know, issues with the terrain here. So why don't we look at some of that? We'll open up topography here. Yeah, and then we'll go into here. So right from here to here, let's make this a bit of a better slope. Let's go back to the topography. This one's fine. Let's change up this one really quickly. From here to here. Ooh, that's interesting. Go back to the topography. So let's do this one. We'll go from about here to here, just to clean things up a little bit. And this one's a bit iffy. I don't think I need to keep going back into the topography. I think we can kind of eyeball it ourselves here. I think this one's pretty rough. And you know, we can always come back to them, right? As we kind of develop the, the lots. Oh, that one's a cut. This one's also going to be a bit of a cut. Okay, 
I'm gonna use the topography for this one. Yeah, so right about here, here it kind of flattens out a little bit. So we'll go from somewhere around this node. We'll take it all the way to here. Oh, big cut, yeah. Alrighty, and we'll leave the rest. This one's a bit iffy. Let's bring this one down to here. And this one's pretty bumpy too. Let's go down to here, make a nice, a smoother slope. All right, fantastic. Uh, let us now just do a bit of smoothing on the terrain here. It's a bit too small. Just around some of these cuts here. It definitely wouldn't be that sharp. Especially in this kind of terrain. And I haven't done any terraforming out this way. It's a bit of a hill here. I think any farmer would have leveled that. It's not that it's not that bumpy. Alrighty, so we're just gonna run over some of these roads. You know, eliminate some some rough curves. Oh, missed one over here. This will make things a bit nicer for when we start building. Yeah, let's clean up this one a little bit. All right. Actually, I did do a bit of terraforming over here for the water treatment plant, but literally just a touch of smoothing. All righty. So let's start with the farm. You know, so I'm thinking if this was a farming town or a train like a, a train station town a rail town uh, they probably we've set up the the grid network accordingly so you know in, in industry started along the train network it's since improved it's since grown as a town the small tight grid is, is still in place it expands outwards as it goes on uh, but this one would have been a major road right but say in like the 60s or 70s the province probably bought up this land, uh, you know, made this interchange because of the, you know, booming town of Prairie Station, Greenberg, and then Fort Prairie. So I'm thinking there probably would have been some really nice farms out over here along the length of some of these major arterial roads. So if this one was the original one, I think we should have the original farm right in here. And then we, what we can do is we can run it off of this road here, which also would help with traffic because I don't really plan on changing this interchange because I want to keep a lot of what makes this map unique. And this was this is the original interchange. We've done a good job at supporting this. So a lot of the traffic is going to flow from here into the town or it's going to go down to this interchange, which we have a nice, a nice system for traffic to get on this side. But over here, it might be difficult if it's going at uh, in this direction so we might see some difficulties the rail now is going to go over here and then we'll bring it back up to surface level and we'll, we'll cut it right through these farm fields I think um, then we'll curve it over here and then I think we built this road a bit too far for the rail but I'm not gonna do the rail today yeah so I think we should build it off of this road for the original farm so let's paint an industry area in and I have a nice idea for the farm's name so this oh, let's actually make the farmhouse hmm. so these are the county roads these are probably surveyed the farmhouse would probably be a bit further down uh, off of the road so let's go with the dirt road and let's say this road used to connect. So we'll say the farmhouse is gonna be right off of here. All right, so we're gonna build a bit of a dirt road and we're just gonna bump it out to about here, like so. It's gonna be the, the driveway for the farmhouse. We're gonna go into here, grab the farmhouse and plop it down just like that. So we've unlocked a couple things. We've unlocked animal pastures, crop fields, grain silos, fruit. Uh, this area, my, my vision is going to be agricultural farming, like produce farming. And then we're gonna build some ranches out over here. 
So we're not going to really get too, too much animal farming in this area. I think we'll have like one small one over here or something like that. I think that might be fun. Uh, oh, water, of course. So how are we going to get water over here? Well, I guess the right of way would probably be via this road. And it probably wouldn't be under the bridge. <laughs> so it would probably be right beside the bridge. And we'll bring it right through here and down. And just really quickly, I'm just going to do some of the major uh, roads through here. Spend some of our money. So we're going to need to do it eventually. And we'll also bring it down over here, especially if we're going to be doing a water treatment plant today or in the future. Alrighty. So we got the, the farm in Smith Orchard. So we're going to name it the Mayberry Farm. Whoa. So the name of this road was a suggestion from a viewer from the first episode. The Mayberry Avenue runs right into the train station. So I'm thinking the name of this road, Mayberry Avenue, uh, this would be Mayberry Avenue East, and then this probably would be Mayberry Avenue, sorry, Mayberry Avenue West. This would be Mayberry Avenue East because this is north that we're playing with and this is south. It's just made up. I don't know what the sun position is actually on this map. So we're going to name this one Mayberry, I think. Or maybe, maybe we'll let that happen and then we'll name this a county road. Because I haven't come up with the, the number system yet for the county roads. And we will. Uh, because this grid network is going to continue out, I believe. It'll change on this side. Actually, it might not. Uh, because I don't think that's how <laughs> surveying works. Uh, but yeah, I'll come up with a number system eventually. But the Mayberry Farm. Alrighty. So this is their driveway. I think we're just going to extend this dirt road out ever so slightly, just so we have a nice, nice clean little thing going on. They got some pine trees on their property. Very nice, very nice indeed. And let us start figuring out how we're going to do this. So I don't think we're gonna get everything running off of uh, the road directly. I think what we'll do is we'll get some dirt roads and we'll run a bunch of crops right through it. Oh, that's not even. Don't like that. I don't think it would be much of an issue, to be honest. There we go, that's better. All right, so we're gonna get some crops running off of Chester Way here. This is gonna be really helpful for traffic as well. Uh, and I think this is going to be so Mayberry berry fruits or berries aren't they in some way fruit trees I don't know anyway so I think this should be like a an orchard so we're going to run a couple of these through here space already occupied let's turn anarchy on and let's just slide this one down I'm going to grab it with move it, so let's go to buildings here. I'm just going to slide it over, like so. We're going to try to line it up a little bit. Just, just going to grab this road. We're just going to scooch it over a little bit. Just going to realign this road. Okay, and this one as well. I'm then going to go back and grab this road. We're just going to scooch it up a little bit more. And over it, then I'm going to go into the building spawn points. And I don't want it on this road, especially right here. That's a horrible location for a spawn point. So I'm going to use the building spawn points mod. I'm going to swing it over. I'm then going to readjust the angle onto this side. And then bring it in to about here. Uh, even farther, probably. Right about there. And then we'll bring it back a little bit. Fantastic. We do the same things over here. It's a bit closer to the road. So I think that should work. All right, so we have a bit of space to play with over here. We got their driveway as well. I think that should be fine for now. Let's probably build a support road out over here. This one's not gonna connect. I think we'll get everything to run 
uh, off of these two side roads here, even though this one is a major road, uh, I think it would probably be beneficial to do that. Or maybe we disconnect this one and we connect it up over here. Yeah, let's try that. Let's grab the dirt. Oh, grab the dirt road. We'll get this one to go right up to here and we'll connect this one up. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's how we do things. All right, so let's go back into the industry area and we need a grain silo, which is why I, w I wanted to put the grain silo over here. Now the grain silo doesn't really make sense for fruit, but that's how the game works. Uh, let's place it down right over here. In reality, I think I should actually probably run out of this, but I'm not sure how much traffic comes out of the farm network itself. Yeah, let's actually place it down in here. We'll, we'll see. I, I think this might be a mistake. All right, then we're going to put this one on empty because we don't want it to actually go in here. This is just for, for backup. And now we just got to wait for the Mayberry farm to produce. So we need it to get up to... We need to get enough workers, so we only have 55 out of, a, out of 150 to level it up. And we need to produce some more resources. Now, we're pretty good on that. That's just going to go up over time, but we need more workers. So I think what we need to do is just maybe just add a couple more farms here. That is a lot of trucks coming out of there, isn't, isn't it? So we have their orchard over here. Uh, I'm going to change up the, this. I'm going to change this up. We're going to place it over here. It's going to be a bit more beneficial. And then let's see. So oranges, definitely not. I think apples is probably the way to go. Change this up to apples. Yeah, that works. Yeah, so we, we're doing pretty good. The Mayberry Farm is importing right now. <laughs> it's on empty, right? Okay, that's good. Oops. And uh, yes, yeah, so we still need some more workers. So let's get a couple more farms in here. And then once we get all these things up, we'll start detailing this area a little bit more. Perhaps change up the road network a little bit uh, in here. Oh, wrong section. So I say we continue with the apple orchard theme. Let's get two more of these and then we'll get one more right through here. Yeah, perhaps what we need to do is kind of mimic this. Yeah, I guess so. Although that could be a lot of traffic flowing in and out of there. I don't know what I want to do with this side yet. So maybe we'll throw one over here. Set this one on empty. Not enough water, so we got to fix that. Fantastic, okay. So we'll wait for the Mayberry Farm to level up. And we still haven't got enough workers, although we have 190 workers possible to work in this facility. So I think it's just a matter of time. Um, we could run a bus through here, but I think we'll, we'll just leave it for now. We have a lot of industry demand, so I think we should be fine. In the meantime, I think we should look at getting moving our landfill out of here. So this is a bit of a risk because we're moving a lot of our garbage processing way outside of the city and that could that could end up being a little frustrating for some traffic issues. However, I think it should be fine. Uh, so we're going to put it out over here. Um, the land over here is pretty nice. It's relatively flat. I think we could go with some smoothing of the area. Just to level it out a little bit so the props don't you know have a horrible time getting placed and everything and we said that this one might become an interchange this one might become an interchange this one most definitely won't be uh, i say we get a bit of an industrial road let's go with industry road uh, and let's build it right off of right off of here Yeah, that works. And then let's get a toll booth. We'll go with the small one for now. 
turn anarchy off. Yeah, and snap, please. Perfect. Alrighty, and then we're gonna get the industry road again. So I guess we're gonna use the picker mod for that. And this one's going to slide right down to over here for now. Then let's grab this road. Let's actually, let's actually delete this road. We'll go with the industry road for this as well. Right up to here. Then let's grab another toll booth. Oh, one way. Oops. Energy off. Place that in. Grab the industry road. And we're going to get this one to connect up pretty nicely. Then we're going to eliminate this road. Okay, so we have a nice clean cross section here. We'll bring this one right up like so. And we won't get any landfills off of here or here. This is just the land. Hey, look at that. So we've got the flour mill, the bakery, the farmer's workers barracks, cattle shed, small barn. That is fantastic. Let's do that momentarily. So we're running a lot of the landfill off of here. I say we filter them through here. Uh, yeah, maybe we can get a, a, a secondary road over here at some point. But we'll get the first couple landfills out over this way. So a good little cheap trick if you are using mods is to grab the landfill with move it. And then what you can do is you can go into here and click reset object. It's going to clear it out. As you see, the level, it just kind of changed. And as soon as that happens, you can do this. You can relocate the building without having to buy any new ones. So I think when we unlock a lot of the larger facilities, I think that would probably want to be off of this road here. A bit closer to the highway newer development so maybe what we do is we actually build out this road and we run that landfill oh no we don't actually need any mods here's the landfill we run the landfills off of this road for now i'm gonna give it a bit of room and we're gonna actually change the garbage truck let's go with large garbage trucks so we'll just let that happen, and there's the large garbage truck. So they're going this way, which is nice to see, through the trees. Strange. Let's actually make sure we're on our proper brush in case I want to do this. Make it seem a bit more full in this area. Very nice. Okay, let's get a couple more. So let's grab the picker mod. We'll do that. We'll get another landfill over here. We'll get another one. Let's make all of these large garbage trucks. That works. And we'll come back to this area in the future when we have the demand for it. So we'll run this through, connect it up. We'll connect this up over here as well. Fantastic. And then we'll run some water down these roads as well. Awesome. Okay, so we got the landfill in. Fantastic. Alrighty. So that's going to be great. Uh, the reason why we have the security gates is, you know, when you go to landfill, I don't know if you've ever been to a landfill, but if you're, you know, dropping off junk that you can't, you know, put by the curb or anything like that, oftentimes you just drive to the landfill. And what happens is they weigh your truck or your car when you go in and then they weigh it when it goes out and you're priced with the weight that you <laughs> dropped off in the facility, right? So I'm thinking maybe these are those weight systems. And you know, maybe they, they say like, hey, take a right if you want to go to the landfill, take a, a left if you have like, like take the second right or something like that if you have, uh, you know, paint or something like that or electronics. So maybe in the future we have enough room that we can really kind of play with that. Um, all right, so the, the Mayberry farm leveled up. Fantastic, we got some bonuses. We're not importing as much anymore, which is really good to see. Um, we did unlock our first factory, the bakery. I've been saving this uh, for a certain location over in here or something like that, or over in here. Uh, oh, wow, it fits perfectly. 
Oh, no, it doesn't. But I, I wanted to, to place it in a location relatively central. I feel like the bakery is one of those few factories that can be placed right in the downtown core of your city. Uh, so we'll find a, a nice location over here that's not going to really hurt the city too much. I mean, we did just move the landfill. Maybe it kind of slides in right in here, but I think we'll leave it for now. We actually have a possibility to fill this in for the first time. Let's actually just take out... Uh, never mind. We'll let that all come in as industry. Maybe take that out. And that one. Okay. Um, there's a fire at the church. Come on, firefighters. This actually reminds me, we don't have the best fire protection over here. Where are the fire trucks? Come on, fire trucks. The gazebo's burned down. <laughs> this is taking a long time. Or maybe because it's a park asset, we don't have uh, the capability of getting to it. Because we don't have like helicopters and stuff like that. Oh, no. We're going to put up no smoking signs by the gazebo. Ah, it burned down. All right. That's okay. Let's go to the picker mod. We'll pick this one back up. And then we can just place it back just like that. <laughs> Brand new gazebo. All right. So um, Mayberry Farm. That's what we're doing. So the bakery I think we'll do later this week once we have a better plan over here. But I, I do think Greenberg is the location for the bakery. Actually, I do like it over here. I'm not going to place it today because... The bakery needs animal products, crops, and flour to produce diamonds, which is bread or baked goods or donuts. Uh, so we need to get animal products. We need to get flour. We need to get crops. We have the crops already going. Seems like things are doing pretty good. These two empty silos are flowing pretty nicely. And all these trucks. Let's see where all these trucks are going first, actually. So let's just grab this, oh, um, this road right here. And let's remove private vehicles, just trucks. So the trucks are going over here. They're going across this interchange. So they're using this interchange and then they're going into this industry area. Um, they're also, looks like they're using this interchange going in and out okay so things seem to be going pretty nicely looks like they're using this exit that's exactly what I was hoping for They're using this exit so yeah I mean it seems to flown pretty nicely I think once we get this third interchange in over here or fourth I guess interchange over here I think that'll be really helpful um, all right so let's look at uh, getting some more crop production in so go to farms uh, we got cattle sheds, I think, is what we unlocked. We didn't unlock the medium fruit fields. And that is because we need a lot more people. So let's try and get more people in here. I think the farmer's workers barracks, I, I think, sometimes looks nice right in this area. But I don't think it necessarily does right now. Uh, I think maybe we can get some of these farmer's workers barracks out over here on, on this road. That might be a nice kind of placement for them. Maybe what we do is instead of connecting it to the road, we'll bring this down to about here. Bring this up. We'll delete that bit. And we'll get some workers barracks over here. I think maybe we could back this up a little bit more. So it only takes up two units. So let's just temporarily connect this up. We only really need two units of space, so we'll connect this one over to there. We'll delete that. And then now we have a perfect placement. I didn't realize there was trees. That's okay. I'm using pine trees over here, apparently. Um, alrighty. So. 
you know, I feel like we're almost good on crop production. I think maybe we should start thinking about maybe getting a second farm in for dairy. Maybe the Mayberry farm has a dairy portion of it. So that just so that we can get like a level five farm going and then we can do like different farms as well. So the Mayberry farm's cattle, maybe the cattle kind of lives over here. That could be good. Yeah, Cause so uh, the thing about the animal pastures is it doesn't actually need to be on fertile land. It can be anywhere. So yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we grab, let's go with an industrial road actually for this. So we'll go, that's not the roads. Uh, industry road, right at the end, bring this one right across. We'll clear out these trees temporarily. We'll probably put them back. Yes, so this doesn't need to be a country road anymore. This can be an industry road right up to here. Yeah, maybe actually what we should do is upgrade this entirely. The Mayberries have a lot of influence. <laughs> and they managed the city to redo this county road or something like that. Or maybe maybe this whole road is their property. Um, all right, so let's go into network multi-tool here. Let's grab this. Let's do yield over here. Do yield. I think that should work. And yeah, let's get the dairy portion of this farm going. I think we actually need to do a quick topography change though. Slope that down. 4.2%, that's pretty steep, isn't it? All right, so let's actually grab these three. We'll say get to the same height as that. And then we'll actually just delete, oh. Okay, same height as that. And then we'll just delete this. We'll smooth out this terrain, whoa. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, and let's make a bit of a, a dairy farm. Maybe a small batch, you know? <laughs> so, uh, let's go with the cattle shed. So the cattle sheds, you don't really need a crop field beside them, just have the barn. Okay, so let's go with the cattle shed. Put the cattle shed right there. I feel like that's pretty good. Kind of looks nice. And then what we'll do is we'll get an animal pasture right beside it. So maybe they bring the cows. And yes, it's going to be cows. Oh, nice. Uh, maybe they bring the cows in and out kind of thing. Um, and back to industry here. Let's grab the barn. And we'll put the barn right over here as well. Sometimes the barn, if with the larger ones, uh, if you put anarchy on, you can get the barn inside of these areas and it looks pretty nice. So why don't we do that? Let's place it in. Let's see how this looks. So if you can just place them right in the, the corner like that, the cows get some trees. Yeah, it actually works pretty nicely. So let's put it on empty. Let's get the spawn point. We're going to bring it all the way over on this side and we're going to just bring it back a little bit. Fantastic, let's get the spawn point. Now the building spawn points mod is by no means necessary, but when you're doing industry stuff, holy cow, is it helpful. All right, and then the animal pastures building spawn point is over here. Let's just bring this one over this side. All right, yeah, that turned out pretty nicely. So they got a small production going on for some cattle. Yeah, let's, we'll detail this up when we are able to in the future. But we're producing this. We are producing flour. So the one thing I am not a fan of is getting flour production inside of your farms. I feel like that should always be outside of the farm. Now, this is what makes it difficult, though, is it's going to cause a lot of traffic between your farm and the flour facilities. So 
what can we do? Well, if we were to build the flower mills in Greenberg over here, the traffic would flow right down from here. We get caught up in over this, it, over in here, it would then cross the bridge, get into this area, and you know, this isn't actually a bad spot. It's not that far away. We might need to do some lane management of this area. Why don't we prep for that and then in tomorrow's episode we'll look at getting the flour mill and the bakery in over here. So just to help out with that, let's grab the industry zone. Let's go into the small little thing. We're going to swing this out around the town. We're going to grab this up. The Mayberries bought up this land a long time ago. Have you seen Yellowstone on TV? Maybe it's a situation like that. <laughs> the Mayberries run the town. Next thing you know, they're going to be the running for public office. Alrighty, and that's using crops. So maybe over here what we do is this one actually is going to be fill. Yeah, okay. Um, and then we'll get some flower production and the bakery somewhere over here in tomorrow's episode. Then if we have time, we'll do the water treatment plant tomorrow. So yeah, I mean, I think this is coming along pretty, pretty nicely. And there's a couple other things that uh, I want to do as well. So perhaps let's just do some of the land management to end off the episode here. So I don't mind this being remaining as a highway, but let's get a bit of a different road system in here. Let's go with this one. Yeah, and then we'll change up the lanes really quickly afterwards. Or the lane arrows, sorry. Uh, then this one's gonna be a four lane. This one's gonna be a four lane. And I think we're actually probably good with the system we have right here. Though we may need to upgrade the lanes a little bit. Does this have... Hold on. Have we been playing this entire time without this road being able to go over here? All right, let's actually just make this, these lane arrows on this side because this is scaring me a little bit. That we've never been able to actually go over here. Then same thing over here. Can this one actually go over on this side? I don't know. It looks like the other ones can. So that's not an issue. Yeah, it looks like this whole time Cars haven't been able to, to go there because look at the lane arrows. They've changed. How about over on this side? No, that one maybe was right all, all along. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's uh, just fix these up really quickly. So we have a dedicated left. It's always good to have. Dedicated left. Dedicated left. And let's go into node controller really quickly. We'll do this and we're going to say custom. Then we're just going to drag this back a little bit. We can go into here really quickly. Hold shift. Hold shift. And hold shift. There we go. So we're good over here. We have lights right here. I think that's fine. I'm not the biggest fan of lights on all of these. So, you know, this is going to be... Oh, this is going to be uh, great for when we actually... Uh, get a lot of traffic flowing through this area and then over here it comes down into a country road and we can actually probably upgrade this to that and we'll upgrade the rest of it to that to highway and it looks like we built this a bit too close then so I'm just going to hold, oh, hold shift I'm gonna drag these over a little bit more. That works. All right, so we'll get uh, more production going in the future, but looks like we're importing some crops, so we definitely need to add to this in the future. However, we are done for today. I uh, hope you liked today's episode, folks. We did a lot. We started the farms, we built up all, all the, the road system over here. 
built our landfill over this side. It looks like it's flowing pretty nicely. Not a ton of garbage. Looks like the trucks are actually doing their thing. We've dedicated right. That's probably beneficial at the moment. Uh, but let's go into free camera mode and end off the video here, folks. Hope you had a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you in Wednesday's video where we'll be doing more farming activity. Peace out. Oh, look at the farmer. He has a Lamborghini. That's pretty cool.